Hello again, it's Dave here from RackNerd, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Fast Panel on your VPS. Now, a few videos ago, I did talk about how to install Cloud Panel. Well, what makes this different is this includes an email server, and it also includes some DNS management. So let's get into it, and I'll show you how to install this. So we want to log into our VPS. Once logged in, we want to head over to our GitHub page, as always, and we want to click on fastpanel-auto install. Now we need to click on install.sh, and then click raw, and we want to copy this URL and head back to our terminal window. Now we want to type wget and paste the link in. This will go ahead and download it. Now once it's downloaded, we want to install it, so we'll go sudo bash install.sh. So it's going to ask us to wait now, and it will begin automatically to install FastPanel. Now, this will take up to about 10 to 15 minutes in some cases, depending on the VPS you have, to completely install. So we'll fast forward right to the end to where we can start using FastPanel. Okay, so FastPanel is now installed. It took around 15 minutes. And as you can see, there's a web address here. So we're going to copy this web address, and we're going to head over to our web browser. So we're going to paste that in and we're going to hit enter and we'll accept the risk here. Now, once it loads, it's going to ask for your email address and your license is going to be sent to your email address account. So put in an email address. I'm going to put in dave at racknerddemo.com. And then we're going to hit activate and it's going to send us an email with the license activation. So at this screen, we just leave it up and we're going to open up our email. So as you can see, we've got an email confirmation. So all we need to do is click on that link. So as you can see, it's being verified now. So we'll just wait for the countdown. And now it's being activated. So we'll head back over to our install. And we'll hit check status. Great, so now we're ready to log in. So we'll head back to our terminal window. And as you can see, we've got a password here. So we'll copy that. And you can also see that the login is fast user. So we're going to go fast user and paste that password in. And then we're going to log in. And we're going to accept the terms and conditions. And we're going to enter our email address again. And then we're going to save it. Now FastPanel is now installed and you can start using it. Now you can see um, a summary of your system up here and you can see that we're on Ubuntu 20.04. If we go up to the top left hand corner here, we've got our menu and under settings, we've got various different options here. We've got DNS, users, databases, and we've also got mail. So we'll click on mail and we'll create a new domain and we'll name this Rack Nerd Demo. And we'll click Save. Now we can create a new mailbox. So we'll go to the right hand corner and click New Mailbox. And we'll put New. And we'll create a password. And we'll just click Save. We're not going to worry about aliases or redirects. Now that's your mailbox set up. If you want to access the web mail, you can click on the actions and this little icon here, and that will open up. Oh, I've just got my pop-up blocker, uh, allow pop-ups, and that will open up RoundCube, and you can see new at racknerddemo.com. Now this won't work straight off bat. You will need to update your DNS records. Now, FastPanel also has a DNS zone manager, which you can see here, and you can point all of your records directly to um, your VPS and manage all your DNS from here. But we're not going to do that, otherwise the video will be too long. Now, heading back to the settings menu, we've got FTP accounts you can set up. So we've also got applications, which you can set up. You've got AW stats, we've got bind9, we've got fail to ban, and many more that you can install. You just hit the install button, and if we go back to our settings root menu, you've got your two-factor authentication you can set up. So yeah, it's overall a pretty good system, very easy to install, and it will take you some time to get around it, 
But that's all we've got time for today. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.